pick up a first down for the Zappers as they trail 14 0 to start the second half. It's free comic book day, ladies and gentlemen. Hey now. Hey, everybody. And a very hearty hey now to all of you. It's me, Will Neff. I'm here on a lovely... Saturday, I think. Yep, Saturday. Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, I just spent my entire morning over at Golden Apple Comics, um, supporting my local comic book store. I, uh, if you were there, you're going there later. I bought a, I think around 200 bucks worth of uh, paperback trades uh, and I and I left them there for people to have. So if you're around Golden Apple Comics, there's a whole box full of free comics. Uh, if you swing by later today, uh, there should be a lot left because I, <laughs> I bought a lot of them. Um, but, um, you know, I, I love comic books. I love... Um, Comic book shops. Um, thank you so much. Look at those alerts. They're so cool. Um, so, uh, I, uh, I basically grew up in a comic book shop. Uh, to all my real nerds out there, you know what I'm talking about. I used to go to a comic book shop in Princeton, New Jersey called uh, Knights of the Round. Yoda Feist. Th or Feist. Thank you so much. Um, I used to go to a comic book shop called Knights of the Round. And, um, you know, co uh, COVID took a, a lot from us uh, as a, uh, as a people. Um, uh, but, uh, I gotta tell you, um, I, I feel real sad, um, about the loss of a lot of comic book stores. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot closed during COVID. Uh, thank you so much, Mediocre Middle Kid. And so, uh, you know, I made a, a point to um, go to Golden Apple today, which has been my comic book store for the last eight years, um, and just spend as much money as I could, really. Um, because uh, I grew up in a comic book store, and I know they might be antiquated, but uh, there really is something magic uh, about going and, and being able to lose yourself as, as kind of a... A kid that doesn't, you know, nerdy kid. And um, 
they were very, very integral to my upbringing and my ability to tell stories and uh, my fandom. So uh, if you have any time today, I know you're strapped in and you're watching me. And if you're on the East Coast, probably most of the comic book stores are closed. But even if you go tomorrow or the next day, uh, I'm sure comic book stores will have a lot of really good free stuff for you. I know they had two free Spider-Man comics, uh, one with Venom that looked really cool. And definitely go check those out. Uh, and they might also have some Batman comics. You know, uh, as you all know, I'm just about the biggest Batman fan running. And uh, with that being said, you know, uh, what a rare and tremendous pleasure it is that I get to do a sponsored segment for uh, something that I am such a tremendous fan of. Um, so uh, here we are today with a little sponsored stream. Uh, I'm not going to get into the sponsored stuff yet. I'm going to let you guys all kind of file in. But I do want to say you all know my policy. And there's a reason that this stream is lining up on the Saturday before my merch goes live. And uh, you can probably thank the good folks over at Spotify uh, come Monday when we start doing pre-sale um, for my new merch because uh, Spotify's uh, sponsorship of this stream will lead to many of you getting uh, some free merch um, because I always make it a point that anybody in my community who wants some of my merch and you know uh, potentially can't afford it uh, will uh, I will usually do a sponsored stream in close proximity to my merch release so that uh, we can make sure that uh, no one is without uh, those clothing items. Um, uh, Biff Tech 15, thank you so much. So that's the plan today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to get into it. Um, I'm going to be playing some games today. I'm going to be talking to you lovely people. Uh, I'm going to be telling you about my mom in town and my dad in town. Uh, Crozy 13 so much. Or not, Crozy 13, thank you so much. Not just so much. My brain kind of disappeared for a second. And Frellard, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you a lot. That's five ah, gifted yes. subs. Uh, Got shoes. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Having any drinks on this beautiful day? No, I am not. However, I can tell you with the utmost confidence that my mother is about four Moscow mules deep uh, out in the California sun, and she is having an absolutely wonderful day. Uh, all, dude, it is so funny. I took my mom to a very nice dinner last night. Very nice dinner. I wanted to show she and my father a really wonderful time, and uh, she was excited about it, but she wasn't even close to as excited as today when she got to go to a Chipotle and get a free burrito using my Chipotle card. She was so excited about this. <laughs> I took her to one of the nicest places in LA last night. She's like, yeah, this is great. But today, free burrito? Oh man, that was living, baby. You would have thought the sushi I got her last night was, you know, horse stock or something she was this is my son's card <laughs> so we had a great time um and now she's enjoying some moscow mules sneaky benny thank you so much eight x biller x thank you so much jw speed works i appreciate you um thanks so much guys uh this is really nice of you to to juice me up like this um why do you get free burritos? Uh, I am a Chipotle ambassador for 100 Thieves. I think if you do enough commercials for them, uh, you get a Chipotle card that gets you some free food every once in a while. Yay! Um, I never use it, sadly. I cook most of my own food, so. <laughs> but my mom, <laughs> she was racking it up. 
She's like, we'll take two chips, please. And the guac. And the queso. <laughs> um, B. Justin Lee, thank you again. Um, what is your typical Chipotle order? Uh, I am a big burrito bowl guy. Uh, I get the pico, the corn, the lettuce, um, rice, a protein, some guac, and some sour cream in there. That's usually what I do. And I do the new chicken that they created. Guys, thank you so much for the epic hype train. Um, look at those cool alerts. Look at those. Look at them cool alerts, huh? Um, so, uh, baby, bah, 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 bah. thank you for all the juice, guys. I appreciate you. It means a lot. Um, X Line TV, two years feels like yesterday. It does. It does feel like yesterday, even for me. Um, Avatron One, thank you so much. You're a good dude. I, I appreciate that. I strive to be. Um, but yeah, uh, here, you guys want to see what I got at Free Comic Book Day? I, I did the darn thing. Hold on one sec. I'll, sh I'll show you what I picked up. So, so I left $200 of free comics in my wake uh, because I wanted everybody at Golden Apple to have free comics and I, I bought some kids some, some toys and stuff. But I, I kept buying mystery packs because I wanted to win one of their raffle prizes. I ended up winning this awesome booster box from Magic the Gathering that my friends and I will have fun with. But I... Uh, I... Of all the comics I bought, because I bought a ton, uh, the the owner, I was like, pick out the ones that I really need to read. And he was like, bet. And I thought he was going to pick out like four. He picked out like 30. So I have Indestructible, Mass Effect, Warzone Secret Wars, Manhattan Project, John Ridley's The American Way, Bionic Man vs. Bionic Woman, Dawn of X, Rocco's Modern Life, The Torch, Outcast, Fantastic Four. This is the free comic they were given today Spider Man vs. Uh, Venom, Spy Kid, It Came. Oh, geez. I have so many more. Hold on. One sec, guys. Uh. Sidekick. Warriors, Assassins for the Thieves World. This one's for Hassan, of course. I don't even know what this one's called. Welcome, Jack of Fables. Resident Alien, Call of Duty Black Ops, Ghost, Fables, DC meets Hanna-Barbera, Star Trek, King's Watch, oh. hold on, I got more. <laughs> God is dead. Ugh. Sidekick. The goon. True blood. Oh, Lord. What is that one? Killing Mars. Fables. The Strain. Evil Empire. And The Legion. So anyway... And that's, that's like a, a third of what I, <laughs> I got. 
So as I said, support your local comic book store. Um, it's free comic book day. It's a celebration of, of comic books and, uh, you know, what they mean in our lives. Um, go support. And if you are near Golden Apple Comics in West Hollywood, please go grab one of the uh, graphic novels that I bought so that people could have free ones of those too. All right, cool. All right, how's your weekend going, guys? Um, grateful for the early stream, laying in bed with some sort of stomach bug. Oh, no. Not like this. Terrible, Sag. <laughs> ah, jeez. Um, Pog, just got back from my grandma's. Oh, heck yeah. Awful, thanks though. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Man, you guys got me on a roller coaster right now. One person's like, we're great. And the next person's like, we're terrible. Um, just seen Doctor Strange. What's the consensus on Doctor Strange? If you've seen Doctor Strange and you liked it, can I get ones in chat? If you saw Doctor Strange and you didn't like it, can I get some twos in chat? Because I, I think people are split on this movie. I'm seeing a lot of ones. I'm seeing a lot of ones. Hmm. Okay. People are vibing it. <laughs> I thought it was good, but there were a lot of Sam Raimi cuts that made me feel really weirded out. Yeah, I mean, if you give the master of body horror in in in, in you know comical fantasy a movie. He's probably going to do body horror and comical fantasy. Uh, and I, you know, that's what he did. Uh, I, I heard he kind of went evil dead with it a little bit. I like your room slash office well. Thank you. I like it a lot too. Here, I'll turn this a little bit so you can see more of it. There we go. Um... Grav Mags, thank you so much. Yo, can't wait for the merch. Yo, Doctor Strange was okay. I I love how you worded that for some reason. Yo, can't wait for the merch. Yo, Doctor Strange was okay. <laughs> um. Did you see the unbearable weight of massive talent yet? I did. I really enjoyed the unbearable weight of massive talent. Um, unbearable weight is is a movie that I thought was hilarious. Um, I don't think the the humor in it is for everyone. I'm going to be completely frank. Um, I don't know if everyone will get as much of a kick out of unbearable weight as I did, but I found myself cackling, cackling. Uh, got shoes, thank you for the $5 tip, I appreciate you. Um, thoughts on Wong Kai Wei. Uh, Wong Kai Wei is one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. Uh, I always tell people, I think the aesthetic of um, uh, Fallen Angels is probably like my favorite film aesthetic Ever. It just, it's just so, so fun and um, dark and tortured and, and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I love, I love me some Wong Kai Wei. I truly do. Um, it was better than Morbius and that's not saying much. <laughs> Interesting. Angels loss. Los Angeles. Um, he watched it earlier and had an interview with the director. I don't know if there was a YouTube video. There is a YouTube video of me talking um, to... Oh, got shoes. Thank you for the $5 tip. 
Uh, Got shoes. Are you trying to say something to me? I don't know if the Batman alerts have TTS. If you are, you can just write it in the chat, and I will read it as as though it was just TTS to me. Thank you so much for the donation, though. Um. Uh, yeah. So uh, I loved the Northman. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was a solid eight point. You know, three out of ten. It's not my favorite. Uh, Eggers film that I've seen, but it was a really, really well made film, uh, really accurate historical, uh, you know, fiction and just really fun. I really liked the action in it a lot. Um, that got lower since last time. Uh, did it? I think I put it at like an eight, five, eight, four. Nah, it's in the same zone. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I was probably pumped when I came out of the theater, uh, but it's, it's a great movie. Uh, there, I don't think you will watch that movie and be like, "Oh, what a terrible piece of junk that was." Uh, it's 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 really exciting. It reminds me of like a Viking gladiator, is what I said. Uh, is unbearable weight like being John Malkovich? No, I don't think anything is like being John Malkovich. Uh, being John Malkovich is is such a <laughs> such a unique piece. Um, unbearable weight is ridiculously meta like John Malkovich is. Um, they are two very meta films. Um, Unbearable Weight, it, I, I don't know. It's just so darn funny. The entire run of that movie, I was there. Okay, I don't want to ruin anything, but there is a scene very early in the first 10 minutes of the film where he pretends to have <laughs> spent 16 years or something writing a song for his daughter and you can tell he's actually just making it up as he goes along and i i was i was crying i was laughing so hard because it's just such an insane thing to do oh it's so funny uh dr nefarious dr nefarious Doctor, thank you. Uh, hey, Will, I just finished my basic training and now I'm in San Antonio for medical training. Glad to finally have some access to your stream after months. Keep up the strong work as always, bud. Hey, thank you so much. And thank you for the five months that you've been streaking with me. I appreciate that a lot. You have probably my favorite badge of the whole bunch. The one where I kind of look like a ghoulie. I saw everything everywhere finally on your suggestion and I loved it so much. I knew I would like it, but it blew me away. Hey, I listen, I went to the deck for that movie. You know, I don't make, I don't give sure thing recommendations. It's not something I do. I almost take all of my recommendations with a grain of salt, right? Um, but that recommendation, I told everybody. That's the one. That's my favorite movie in like the last definitely five years. My favorite film since Mandy and Climax. Um, Circle Lota, I think Sir Sir Lota. Thank you for the prime and perfect. <laughs> Yo, thank you. Um, so I uh, I loved that film. I absolutely adored that film. If you haven't seen that film, please go see it. I haven't talked to anybody yet who's really disliked it. I'd be excited to meet someone. Morbius, not not even going to see it, guys, probably. Uh, at no point in my life will I see that. Kind of same thing as Birds of Prey. I just, I don't care. Um, favorite Craig Bond film. I'm going to let you guys in on a little uh, secret. Uh, well, not so much a secret. I've said it many times. I don't like James Bond. I don't think they're good movies. I don't understand them. Um, they've never appealed to me. And I, I just don't enjoy them. I don't think there's any um, James Bond film that I've ever enjoyed, save Goldeneye. Uh, the Dan Man, thank you so much. Um, Casino Royale, uh, let me say this again. I don't think there's any James Bond film that I've ever enjoyed, save uh, Goldeneye. I'm just not a James Bond guy. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I've never thought it was cute or exciting. Uh, I, yeah, for me, 
James Bond films are like, can I tell you what a James Bond film feels like? This is what a James Bond film feels like to me. You know when you go to a doctor's office and they have all the magazines laid out on um, the table and they have like Yacht Owners Monthly and you read Yacht Owners Monthly, you, you breeze through it and you kind of imagine what your life would be. Uh, James Bond feels so masturbatory in, in the entire anatomy of the series. Like none of it plays cool to me. At no point has a James Bond film been believable to me. And like, they're not serious enough to be believable and they're not fun enough to be fun, in my opinion. They're kind of a perfect middle ground where I'm just always bored. Someone said The Rock. The Rock is the best James Bond film. I'll say that by a mile. The Rock is by far the best James Bond film. By far the just best James Bond film is The Rock. And you wanna know why? Because James Bond has given up. It's the real James Bond, right? The So I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, the Rock very secretly very kind of sneakily is a is a long form reference to James Bond and the idea is that um Sean Connery's version of James Bond is sent to the United States to steal microfilm that the American government has compiled on the royal family and he's caught during the mission and he's sent to jail for the next 50 years and no one bails him out they just leave him to die so he escapes from alcatraz at one point and then a group of terrorists take over alcatraz so they basically unbury him uh like batman unburied and he he helps uh nicholas cage as a as a uh as a bomb defusing guy and they break into alcatraz and he kills everybody <laughs> it's james bond but imagine james bond if it's r rated and he's killing everyone he is just he just goes on an absolute murder spree because he's so over it the rock is the only James Bond film I can get on and it's because it's like the boys the boys is to superheroes as the rock is to James Bond and it's tremendous um what about Mission Impossible uh, I love the first Mission Impossible but the turn that that series has taken from the first movie, which is like this very smart spy thriller to like the current iteration, which is basically like, guess what? The entire world is on fire and I'm going to hang from a plane. Um, it's okay. I like Mission Impossible. I like them more than the Bond films. I love. Have you watched Casino Royale? Yes. And I didn't enjoy it. I don't like Bond movies. I don't like them. They're not cool. They're they're not. I've never watched one and been like, sick. Awesome. I do not like James Bond films. I do not understand them. I don't get them. I find them painfully boring. I've never liked one. I've watched all of them pretty much. And there's never been one that I'm like, oh, yeah. Someone shared uh, the scene from The Rock, the prom queen scene. This is a sponsored stream, so I'm going to skip that scene, but uh, great line. Winners go home. Winners go home. Um, I, the other thing I'm going to keep a buck with you guys, I, how many James Bonds are there? There's like 25, I think, something like that. 
they're all the same movie. I don't get it. How do they just keep making the same movie? I don't understand. It's all the same movie. And Mission Impossible isn't. I said I liked the first one and I didn't really care for the latter ones. You're proving my point, homeboy. You act like I'm ranting and raving about Mission Impossible. I said the first one's good, the rest are okay. Thank you, George of the George. I'm serious though. I, I, I don't know how people continually get charged up for movies like Transformers or Jurassic Park or James Bond or uh, Fast and Furious. They're all the, they're the same movie, just heightened stakes. And, and like the stakes always get laughable because they, they have to continuously heighten them. Granted, listen, I get the Daniel Craig version. I get why people like the Daniel Craig version, right? It's the Dark Knight version of James Bond, right? It's the Dark Knight version of James Bond. Let's make James Bond dark and gritty and tortured. You know his love interest that he's finally going to settle down with? Let's kill her. <laughs> right? And people are like, yeah! Now this is the James Bond I like. I don't know. They're okay. Listen, if you enjoy James Bond, there's nothing wrong with you. If you enjoy James Bond, there's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with me, right? I, I'm never going to yuck your yum. You are completely allowed to be a James Bond fan. It's a, it's a certain type of kitsch that can be very fun. And there are some very whimsical, silly moments in James Bond that even my darkened heart could enjoy. I liked when J uh, Jaws bit through the car door. I liked when uh, Grace, what's her, Grace, not, someone remind me of her name. Uh, the, the beautiful Amazonian woman. Um, when she is a villain, I like Byron Samdi in Odd Job. Um, Grace Jones, yeah. Um, when Grace Jones was a villain who became an anti-hero, that was pretty good. Um, but they're just they're just not for me. You know what I mean? They're just not my bag of chips. Um, did you see the trailer for Wheeler, Weird Al Yankovic movie starring Daniel Radcliffe? I did. Uh, I, I think the Weird Al film will be surprisingly good. Do you have a favorite Wong Kai Wei film? Wong Kai Wei, uh, Fallen Angels is my favorite one. Um, I, but I have equal love for uh, Chung King and In the Mood for Love. Um, the thing that I notice about Wong Kai Wei, particularly those three films, and it's my favorite thing about Wong Kai Wei, is that he makes love stories. But each one of those three movies is a love story in a format that you've never seen before and probably will never see again. Which is interesting because when you think of love stories, they seem like such a a limited, a limited uh, genre, right? Someone meets someone and they fall in love. They overcome obstacles and do dee dee bop bo do do. Um, one guy way love stories. He always finds a really interesting wrinkle, right? Um, 22 months and a 20 month streak. Well, tickle my something and call me Samantha. Thank you, Alex. Um, so, uh, those, those three movies are, uh, in the mood for love is such a massive blue ball. It's great. Oh yeah. Yep. Um, but it's, it's a love story like you've never seen, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's great because in no particular order, uh, one of those films is a love story that never happens. One of them is a love story that happens in the last 30 seconds of a film. Amazing. 
a two-hour setup for a 30-second love story. Amazing. And one is like two people falling in love with each other from a distance, like a binary star system in no particular order. You, I won't tell you which of those films is which. But man, they are fun. Man, that Fallen Angels. Woo! Jeez. Um, what is your absolute spiciest movie take? Is Star Wars dead? Um, well, I mean, not liking James Bond as a whole is a pretty spicy movie take. Um... What other spicy movie takes do I have? Sp spicy movie takes. Takes that are really considered wacko. Um, hmm. Hmm. What is a spicy movie take? Oh, uh, oof. Oh, I'm going to ignite the chat with this one. Um, I don't think the Harry Potter films are good. <laughs> That's a spicy take. But you're allowed to like them. You can enjoy them. Um, yeah. Wow, unsub time? I, I don't know. Harry Potter is wonderful. Uh, it did so much for kids reading. I remember reading the first one when I was a child and thinking, this is pretty good. I enjoy this. Uh, but from the bottom of my heart, uh, I was a nerd who read The Hobbit at age 11 and there was no going back, right? There was no like, there was no like, ugh, I love this. This is my, I was always kind of like, this magic is whack. <laughs> um... But uh, someone in the chat said Quentin Tarantino is overrated. Uh, I, no, I have a different theory about Quentin Tarantino. It's not that he's overrated. I have a theory that there are quite a few filmmakers out there who are better at making film when they have almost no budget to do so. Um, I think Robert Rodriguez falls in that category. I think Quentin Tarantino falls in that category. I think there are a number of filmmakers who, when I see that there's stuff that they were doing as indie film, I'm like, that's it right there. That's the stuff. And then I see their like huge budget industry stuff and I'm just like, ooh. Kevin Smith, yes. Yes. Planet Terror is a banger, is it? Is it really? Is it as good as Mariachi and Desperado? Is it really? Is it really as good as it, those original films? No, it's not. Um, uh, I feel the same way about Quentin, right? Um, Four Rooms, um, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, uh... Reservoir Dogs, that early stuff that was still like so unpolished and gritty and, and you know, had an edge to it and it was, you know, kind of the ramblings of an insane person. I, I vibe with that. Some of the later stuff, it, it's good. I just don't like it as much. I really don't. That's a spicy take. That's a spicy take. For me to say that Jackie Brown, Reservoir Dogs, and Pulp Fiction is better than Hateful Eight, Django, and uh, like Kill Bill. A lot of people will get upset about that. But the original films are just, they're just better. And listen, here's what I will say. Django is incredible. Django is an incredible film. It is one of those films that it's like, what a what a tremendous fan service film. We get to watch, you know, planta plantation owners get their comeuppance in such a violent way. And I think, you know, uh, the, the German guy does such a great job as the dentist and Jamie King is electric in that movie. And even um, 
uh, DiCaprio, you know, is great. The, the performances are great in that film. I just, I don't know if it's as compelling to me as some of those early, he's Austrian. Sorry, he played a German in another film you might've seen. Um, but uh, he, I, I just, for some reason, I don't find those as compelling as like his early mumblecore. I guess you could even say those are mumblecore. Those early mumblecore uh, kind of like crime dramas. Uh, I love those films. Um, thank you, Diablo. Uh, did Django is fun to watch? Yeah, I mean, here, here's the thing. I don't think any Quentin Tarantino films are not fun to watch. I think all Quentin Tarantino films are fun to watch, right? Because he is king of, he's king of the fan service nerds, right? No one has ever done fan service as well as Quentin Tarantino. He made a World War II film where they where they blow torch Hitler. He made a, he made a, a Civil War film where a black cowboy kills a bunch of racists. He made a, a a Hollywood picture where Charles Manson you know gets dispatched by a good looking. He's he's the king of fan service, right? It's what he it's what he does. Um, so none of his films are not fun, right? They're all great, but I I just think when you talk about the impact of his movies and kind of like the originality of his films those are those those first four oh my god um true romance ha ha oh my god you're so cool you're so cool death proof is underrated ah! i just i never understood grindhouse i i i'll never understood it i never understood it um, I don't understand it. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. Not as good as a movie. Uh, I feel here. Can I be honest? I feel like Grindhouse was like five years too early because if they had done it as like a series of episodes of television, like six limited edition you know, like almost like a black mirror where it was like Grindhouse, the series on HBO. I would have been very into that. But I remember going to the movie theater and seeing both those films, uh, uh, Death Proof and Pl Private Terror. And I was like, oh, it was like seeing a Robert Rodriguez film and a Quentin Tarantino film, but neither were as good as a real Quentin Tarantino or Robert Rodriguez film. And uh, yep. <laughs> that that's just, that's just how I feel. Scorsese is the goat. Um, Scorsese is very good. I love Scorsese. There are Scorsese projects that I hold in very high esteem. Um, Taxi Driver, King of Comedy, King of Comedy. By the way, um, I think one of the most underrated um, projects he's ever done. Just a tremendous, tremendous film. Uh, and also integral to you understanding a lot of the references in the recent um, Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Um, if you, uh, if you uh, want to understand the, the full messaging behind uh, the new Joker, you almost have to see the King of Comedy. Uh, it's amazing. I would say it's his least recognizable project. Uh, it's a Robert De Niro film that he did where um, he uh, writes about a guy who basically is having like a detachment from reality and wants to be Johnny Carson or the equivalent of Johnny Carson in his universe. And so he goes about kind of just doing like crime and strange things as he loses his mind so he can take over as this late night host. But just like The Rock is a tip of the hat to James Bond, the Joker film is a tip of the hat to the king of comedy 
because the expectation is like, oh, this is like what would have happened if the King of Comedy character actually became a major host of, of Late Night. Yeah, here, I'll show you King of Comedy. Almost no one has seen this film when I talk about it. This is the King of Comedy. Look, does this character remind you of anybody? Does this character remind you of anybody, guys? Might have you seen this character hosting a late night show in the Joker? This isn't the Joker, by the way. This is the King of Comedy. Is that blowing your mind? Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to blow your mind. Watch this. Tell me, tell me if this doesn't blow your mind a bit. This is the Joker. This is 40 years earlier. King of comedy. Look at that similarity. Look at that, dude. Does that not fraggle rock your mind a little bit? Spooky. Very cool. Um, was he used as a reference? Um, yeah. Um, inspiration or ripoff? Uh, inspiration. Uh, I think, I think, uh, uh, um, uh, Scorsese even gave his, his blessing to the Joker. Um, you're awful, Murray. <laughs> Um, thoughts on any relationship between Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and Michael Douglas's falling down? Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, you think this is why De Niro took the part? I I cannot confirm or deny that. Absolutely. <laughs> um, he produced it. Yeah, exactly. But I I, I think he kind of also gave his like. He kind of was like, yes, this is a sequel to the King of Comedy. You got to go see the King of Comedy. I know a lot of you haven't seen this movie. If you see the King of Comedy, you will understand significantly more what I'm talking about. You'll be like, uh, oh, okay. Um, what an interesting question. I like this question. Is Aaron Sorkin even good? What an interesting question. Um, yes, I do think Aaron Sorkin is very good. Uh, I think he is one of the most prolific uh, writers there is. Um, the the uh, his ability to just create is is wild. I think he is a person who um, likes to smell his own farts a little bit, which is okay because he has been farting long and hard for a long time, if you know what I mean. Uh, so there are times that his projects don't inspire me, but his body of work is inspiring, right? Let's just Let's just say what it is. A Few Good Men, Moneyball, The West Wing, Social Network, Molly's Game. He's got some hits. Um, Sorkinisms? Yeah, dude. Every, every character in a Sorkin project talks like they're reading out of a thesaurus. Thesaurus. Dinosaur. Thesaurus. Yes. Um... They all are like, their conversations are almost robotic in their, in how, you know, highfalutin and, and referency they are. You know what I mean? Like every Sorkin conversation is like, it's just so densely packed, right? Where they're like, where they're like, ah, Tolstoy. Yes. Huh? Oh, I feel like a character in Les Mis. Well, don't steal the bread. What if I do? Well, then you'll end up in a town square somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, no one talks like that. You know what I mean? 
It's just so, it's like so witty and pithy and effortless all the time that it almost has the opposite effect. <laughs> Indubitably, yeah. Um, some pro uh, Same problem that Kevin Smith films have, every character is speaking in the same delivery. Yeah, uh, Kevin Smith is a guy that I absolutely adore as a filmmaker. I think he is... I'm going to say this too. I think Kevin Smith is one of the rare good guys in Hollywood. Uh, Kevin Smith uh, is one of those guys where I would just love to pick his brain. He seems like such an amazing human being. And he just, every story you hear about him is just like, yeah, he's the nicest guy on the planet. Um, that being said, some of his new projects I find... A little obtuse. <laughs> a little obtuse. Um, <laughs> also, some of the later Jay and Silent Bob projects have felt a little phoned in. A little phoned, a little phoned in. Um, but you know shoot I stream some of my streams are terrible <laughs> I understand it I'd love to meet and hang out with him uh, clerks chasing Amy dogma uh, Jay and Silent Bob strike back uh, mall rats these are all tremendous films that you should see I want to see him make a superhero movie too finally um Dogma is great. Too bad you can't see it. What do you mean? The fact that he protested his own movie when Dogma came out is why I love him the most. He did a lot of Supergirl. Oh, I got to check it out then. Jason Muse is at a Twitch channel for years. I rate him all the time. I've probably rated him uh, 20 or 30 times. Dogma is pulled from distribution. That's hilarious. The rights for Dogma are in limbo because of the Weinsteins. Oh, man, the Weinsteins, the gift that keeps on giving. Um, any Kids in the Hall influences in your life? New Kids in the Hall in a few days. Uh, I remember watching Kids in the Hall when I was uh, like just a wee lad. And I think um, Kids in the Hall certainly have a lasting inspiration on sketch comedy as... I think that they were some of the first guys who uh, did not worry about their sketch, like having this beginning, middle and end, or like having everything make sense or be set in reality. Um, if you like people like good neighbor stuff um, and like churdlies, uh, you got to give it up to kids in the hall because without kids in the hall, you, you don't have comedy like that. Some of their early sketches are just so, like, certainly Whitest Kids You Know. If you like Whitest Kids You Know, you gotta give it up to Kids in the Hall. Um, those just so, super weird, like, one-line premise sketches that, like, go on too long or just so, you know, so, so weird. Uh, I'm really happy Kids in the Hall are coming back. Um... Big up to Canadian comedy. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think Canadian comedy gets enough respect. Um, but certainly Second City Toronto, Kids in the Hall. Um, so, some of the funniest people in the world are, are Canadian. Um, so, Who did that painting of you shirtless? Uh, that's Little Prince. Um, Norm, yep. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, can you believe I work in a bank? <laughs> no. Uh, a gallon of PCP, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where did you get your shelf? This? I forget. I forget. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck. 
Um, wow, a whole gallon. Um, uh, what was the first movie you saw in a theater? Oh my God, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that poll. I don't think I can remember that, guys. I remember the theater that I went to when I was little in Princeton. I remember that vividly. Um, hmm. I don't think I could pull that, guys. I'd have to ask my mom. She's in town. Um, I Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one of the first movies I remember going to as a kid. Which is not a movie you should see as a kid. I remember, see <laughs> I remember seeing Starship Troopers in like my, like when I was like ten, in a movie theater, and I remember I like ran out and almost threw up. <laughs> I remember uh, my babysitter took me. Uh, at the time, a gentleman named Greg took me. And I, I, it was, it was too, it was a lot for me. It was a lot. The nightmares were palpable for a long time. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Um, cool babysitter. Yeah. I had a lot of cool babysitters. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. Before we go into the sponsored segment of my stream, I wanted to show you guys something pretty interesting. So, when I showed you all Donna, uh, people had a lot of questions, right? My, my character Donna. Oh, hi everybody! And a lot of people were like, you know, where did the, where did this character come from? Uh, <laughs> why are you doing this character? You know, da 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 da. All these questions about this character. And when I showed you guys the the, the promo. I think you were all very excited. Um, so let me just pull it up real quick. Let me pull up a picture of Donna. And uh, so a lot of people asked, where did this character come from? And I said, well, I uh, used to have a grandmother or a surrogate grandmother uh, that was very uh, similar to Donna. And people were shocked by this. They went, what? There's no way. So I, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys quickly two things. Uh, I'm gonna show you Donna again real quick. Hold. Hold. Okay. Um. Here's a picture of Donna. Hold on. Let me pull this up in a... Oh, whoops. Closed the wrong tab. Uh, you'll love this. I promise. I promise this. Okay. Wait. I got to open it in a new tab. Hold on. Got it. Boom. All right. Oh, it's in it's in negative. Never mind. You guys know what Donna looks like. I wanted to show you my grandma Mary, and you can tell me if this reminds you of Donna at all. And let me focus it. There's my grandma Mary. Tell me that is not Donna. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Dude, I, my so I, I I showed my my mom the reel of Donna, 
And she went, oh my God, that's just like Grandma Mary. So she sent me the photo of Grandma Mary so I would have it. It'll live right here on the desk. I thought that was, I thought that was worth a, a show and a quick smile. Um, my, my grandma Mary was great. She never took me to Starship Troopers. <laughs> um, okay. With that being said, guys, I would like to, um, you seem like a funny guy. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate that. What a nice thing to say. Hello, everybody. All right. So, guys, quickly, uh, as I said, uh, thanks to the amazing people over at Spotify, um, we are going to be able to give a lot of free merch away come Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever that we get this done. But um, they are sponsoring today's stream. And uh, I always like to schedule a sponsored stream in close proximity with one of my merch drops so that I can give a bunch of free merch away to people that uh, maybe can't afford it. Uh, to people who, you know, maybe have had a, a, sh a shitty day, week, or year and just need some free stuff to brighten their day. And uh, thanks to the good people over at Spotify, I will be able to give away uh, a few, uh, a, a pretty good amount of, of, of my uh, upcoming mock, mock neck turtlenecks. So with that being said, I have one of the coolest sponsorships uh, I've ever had. Because as you may or may not know, uh, I am a gigantic Batman fan. Huge Batman fan. And I'm also a big fan of listening to stories. Um, when I drove cross country, uh, the only thing that got me to California was my audiobook of Game of Thrones. I love it. And uh, it helped me uh, complete the drive. So... Um, Spotify, exclamation point Spotify, uh, has an upcoming audio experience, an audio series called Batman Unburied. Um, it dropped May 3rd and already has, I think, hold on a minute. Yes. Three episodes released. So you can go listen to two episodes released. I'm wrong. A kind of night person and such wonderful secrets. Uh, there are two 33 or 30 minute long episodes that you can go indulge in right now. Um, little backstory in case you've never heard of this Bruce Wayne guy. Bruce Wayne or Batman, other known, otherwise known as Bruce Wayne, an individual known throughout the world as an arbitrator of justice, a billionaire playboy, but genius businessman and inventor who protects the citizens of Gotham as a masked crusader. But in Batman Unburied, when we first meet Bruce, we will see a very different side of him. An ordinary citizen as we work to unravel the mystery of why Bruce is seemingly different from the Bruce Wayne we all know. So too will our caped vigilante be forced to solve not only his own mental and physical imprisonment, but how to save the citizens of Gotham. It's a brand new story. It's a fresh take on a timeless hero to engage mainstream entertainment enthusiasts and introduce them to the world of audio, ultimately raising uh, fiction podcasting to the echelons of gaming and movie status within the zeitgeist. Um, so guys, uh, you can only get this story on Spotify. Um, I have been listening to the first episode while I was working out and I'm, I know I'm already in, uh, I'm a big podcast person. I'm a big audiobook person and, uh, Batman on buried is, Oh, look at that. We got a takeover. Gosh, their graphics are so cool. There you go. The harvester. You guys can tri uh, trigger that more if you want to see it again, again, 
uh, by using those exclamation point commands in chat. Um, so I was listening while I was working out and obviously it worked for my biceps. No, uh, I, I like um, what's going on with this uh, podcast, podca well, I guess it's not a podcast, an audio story experience um, in that I think there was a lot of attention put in to create a totally different Batman experience, um, which is hard, right? Because Batman has been around since Detective Comics 13, maybe? Oh, I could be wrong. But he's been around for a little bit. <laughs> he's been around, you know, since the Great Depression. And so... Um, as a Batman fan, uh, experiencing uh, something so novel and so new uh, felt kind of uncanny, and I was really engrossed very quickly. Um, I do a lot of work every day, as you guys know, so uh, an audiobook is right up uh, my alley as, uh, or an audio storytelling experience, sorry, is right up my alley as, uh, you know, I, I do a lot in my car. Uh, I do a lot from, you know, my dressing room. I do a lot uh, while I'm working out. So if you are a person who wants to go enjoy a, a full engrossing story, but maybe you don't have the time to sit down and, and, and uh, you know, just consume a whole season or a whole film, uh, this is a perfect project at, with a totally unique spin. I also have another attachment to the project. Um, I'm a huge fan of this project, not only because of how novel it is and how much of a Batman uh, junkie I am, but also uh, Secret Secrets, uh, one of the subsequent projects, which I will not name because I am not allowed to, but one of the subsequent projects that will uh, be happening on Spotify uh, is being written by one of my very close friends who I consider one of the most gifted writers on the planet. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward uh, to seeing that subsequent project or sorry, hearing that subsequent project. Um, so I am all in on uh, Batman Unburied and you should be as well. Um, it is tremendous. Uh, it, it is worth your time. And um, oh, hold on. One second. Uh, um, one moment. Um, yeah, so, uh, definitely check it out. Um, use that command one second. I think I have to update something because I am not the best at tech surprise. Um, let me see if I can do this. There it is. Boom. All right. Okay, yes, uh, that banner wasn't up, but there, you can also use that um, bloop, that uh, URL code to uh, access the project. Go give it a listen. Why don't people make QR codes with a design? Is that how QR codes work? I'm going to be honest. I don't know a ton about um, uh, QR codes. I don't know uh, a ton about QR codes. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so I, I, hope, uh, I hope you go uh, check out this project. Um, yeah, 
I, I don't know what else to, to really say, because uh, I don't want to ruin it for you, but I think it's really fun um, that this uh, Bruce Wayne uh, is uh, a very different Bruce Wayne than you've seen before. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to ruin anything. Um, but uh, yeah, okay. Uh, there you go. That's a, that's a little, uh, uh, man, bat, Batman coming at you. Is it for free Batman pizza? Oh, golly. I wish. Oh, golly. I wish. Okay. So one more time. Listen, I'm going to say this. Uh, I hope you all use the exclamation commands in chat for the rest of stream. Um, just spam them out because the good people at Spotify will be responsible for getting you a lot of free merch. Um, my merch, uh, I'm gonna pay forward uh, most of what I make today to make sure that anybody who wants one of the Will Neff Machinacs gets one. And all I ask in return is that you <laughs> spam that link Aroni uh, and, and go check out the panel uh, down below. Beep, 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 beep. There's a panel you'll see down there. You just give it a click. And they'll go, hey, that Will Neff, he, uh, his community, they really like Batman. Look at that. You triggered that. They'll go, wow, we, we should do more Batman stuff over here, which would make me very happy uh, as I am a, a Bat Boy. I don't know if that's what he calls his fan group. That's not, I, Bat Boys? <laughs> um, is it worth it? Uh, I mean, I think so. I already am subscribed at Spotify and I use Spotify so much when I work out anyway that it didn't it didn't feel difficult for me at all to access this project. You know, sometimes I recommend you guys, uh, you know, stuff where I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, this is on Cinemax or something where it's like you got to go digging through the annals of the Internet. But I'm sure a lot of you have Spotify and it's it's worth listening to uh, if you if you do certainly and if you don't maybe it's worth hopping on and, and giving Spotify a chance to just give it a listen. Anything is better than you calling your followers the Miz Kids. That is true. Bat clap. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Um. So by the way, one more time. This is what it looks like. Two episodes out now. Um, so what do you guys want to do for the rest of the stream? I, uh, I kind of have, it's kind of open, you know, we just kind of have the world to explore. I've been talking film. Uh, the branded part is, is behind us. Uh, we're just out here uh, having a good time. Uh, did you watch Dr. Strange? Not yet. I've heard very mixed things. Uh, some people that I trust really loved it. Some people, um, that I trust were kind of, eh. And some people were like, that was not it, fam. So I I'm looking forward to seeing it on my own and giving, uh, my take on it. Um, see, look, even within the chat. Oh, I think that's my mom. You guys want my mom to just say hi real quick? I'm gonna go grab my mama to say hi. Hold on. Here, here's the mic. These are all people watching right now. Oh, and I can't, I can't even see their names. But oh, it moves quick. Yes, I'm amazed. Well, anyway, I'm just having too much fun out in Los Angeles visiting Will. Yeah, we you had, had a Moscow Mule or two. Sure, sure. <laughs> you have a refrigerator full of them. Why not? And uh, I was up on his rooftop, and it's, it's just beautiful and delightful and. We hadn't seen Will in, uh, I hadn't seen him in over a year. His dad hasn't seen him in 18 months because of COVID. Yeah. And uh, hey, it's all good. So I'm learning what he does and it's really exciting. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'll be all right. In about an hour or so. All right. I'm going to do a uh, sink full of dishes. Some things never change. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. my dishwasher's broken. <laughs> Leave me alone. Look at that. 
I'm getting I'm getting bullied in my own house. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um uh do the dishes will my di my dishwasher broke i'm not, i'm not collecting dirty dishes this is i've been i've been had um hang on let me close the door and grab a water real quick guys Bleep. All right, I'm back. Soup. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Is movie night only once a week? Yeah, typically movie nights are on Wednesdays, guys. We pipe it up for Wednesdays, and that's, uh, that's when we get it going. Have you heard of Octobokeh? Octoboke beavers. No. Did you saw everything everywhere all at once? Yeah, I actually gave a really uh, lengthy review about it just last week. Not spoiler free. And then this week I'm going to give a spoiler dense review. By the way, thank you so much. The real Matt Damon 69 for the $5. Um, I loved it i i absolutely loved everything everywhere all at once it's my favorite movie of the last five years possibly the decade uh no one no one should miss it um truly don't miss it uh would you ever make a movie or act in one uh well i'm a screenwriter i'm in the screenwriters guild of america and i um I, uh, you know, I, I work on that quite a bit. Um, QXENN, thank you. Um, but, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to act in films. I, I, it's tough. I don't know. Um, is your review on YouTube? I don't know. What's a good recent kung fu movie? Doesn't feel like they make them anymore. Well, everything, everywhere, all at once has quite a bit of uh, martial arts in it. Um, what's the last great martial art movie I watched? Uh, probably this one. Uh, let me see. Yeah, The Night Comes for Us, which is 2018. The Night Comes for Us is very good. It is very very good uh Tullerin, thank you so much uh definitely check out oh yeah uh someone asked what films we've done for movie night here is a running list man look at all these look at all these movies we've done okay that's for a cool we've done some good ones wow we've done some good movies we've done some good movies that's some good juice. Um, yeah, we've done a we've done a pretty good smattering of films. Uh, here, if you want to check out uh the films in here, I recommend all of these projects. Um, go check them out. There's the there's a there's a running list. That's not all that we've done, but it's quite a few. 
What's the movie with the one verse 20 fight scene? I think you're talking about old boy and it's called the hammer scene. Uh, so my final exam for my political science class is fight club. What? Um, when did you do the sixth sense? A few weeks ago, we talked about um, the the value and trap of a twist ending. Uh, I really focused on how I felt like if you write for a twist ending or become known for a twist ending like M. Night was, you become trapped by them, right? Everyone kind of expected every M. Night film to have an outrageous twist. Uh, and it just got so like, ooh. Um... Someone say old boy? I did. Someone streamed T2 in Discord last night. Was a fun time. There you go. Have you watched Warrior on HBO? I actually liked it a lot. It was a movie Bruce Lee was going to do before he passed away. And it was adapted into a show by his daughter. Warrior? Um... I know of the movie... No, I haven't watched this yet. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to check this out. It's called Warrior Blood In, Blood Out. Cool. Um, thoughts on Stranger Things as a whole? I, 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 I can't rightly say. Because... I hated the second season so much I just stopped watching it. I loved the first season. Um, the first season, like, inspired me. I I watched the first season and I was like, oh, this is so spontaneous and fun and weird. And it's a love letter to so many things that I enjoy. And I, I can't believe how much fun I'm having watching this project and then i watched the second season and i was like what what is this what is going on here um and i didn't finish it i got like five episodes in and i i was so put off by it i never watched it again yep the final exam is on fight club okay I'm supposed to analyze Fight Club with certain uh, poli-sci concepts like describing Project Mayhem as a communist, anarchist, or a fascist org. And the movie's portrayal of consumerism. Heck yeah. Get in there. Also write about Brad Pitt's abs. Did you watch The Northman? I dug it. Visual ride. Yep. I watched it and I interviewed uh, Robert Eggers. You can find that interview online. I really like the movie. Um, Sorry to Bother You is pretty dope for that type of stuff. Um, I hated Sorry to Bother You. I, th I think it, I think it's a, I hate that movie. Um, However, I will say I'm really happy that uh, Boots Riley got the film made. I think it's an incredible story of uh, how to get a film made and sticking to your guns and sticking to your vision and getting a project made. Um, Sorry to Bother You is a film that vexes me even more than just a bad movie because I think the first half of the film is incredible. I think the first hour or so of Sorry to Bother You is like really pithy, cool, interesting commentary. And then I think the end is one of the most painfully ham-fisted, like it's, it's just some of the worst commentary I've ever seen in my life. I think the end of that film is a train wreck. It's it's so it's so club you in the face that I I I walked away like why 
why did he ruin his own movie? It felt so indulgent to. Um, it just felt so indulgent and especially for like a fir first project, it just was like, ugh. Ugh. Hmm. I, I just, I hate that film. I'm so excited for Boots though and I hope he makes more projects. I, I, I hope Boots makes more projects because it, his story is amazing. And I, I do think the first half, half of that film is inspired. Um, but the ending, my God, what are, we, what are you thinking? So juvenile. Anyway, God, I feel like it. I sound like my mother. Sound like, ugh. Um, did you keep up on Moon Knight? I did not. I have to catch up. I've been watching Better Call Saul. Um, that's the point. The point is you can't face the horrors of labor exploitation on less literally bludgeoning in the face with the barbarity of slavery. No, um, people face the reality of it every day. They just don't care. And I don't think that movie made people care either. If I'm being quite frank. question marks um yeah no i i think that's most people i think it's even the radicals in the world right i think most of the people that are out there screaming for revolution if you told them that you had to take their television and their internet away for that revolution to happen or their choice of cereal uh most of them wouldn't go through with it and that's the painful truth. Everybody wants a revolution until they're not comfortable anymore. And, and maybe I'm being a little nihilistic on that, a little, you know, depressing on that, but I, I, I've I synced it. When it's, when it's time for people to put up or shut up or go watch television, most of them will go watch television. Which is what I think a, a project like, uh, sorry to bother you, like in a weird way accomplishes, right? It's so radical. It's so over the top and unwatchable that you think that, you, oh, I'm part, of the, I'm part of the revolution. That movie had full frontal horse penises. Huh, <laughs> yeah. I hope it made you uncomfortable. And then you go back and you watch The Bachelor, right? I don't know. But let me say again that I really think that Boots is talented. I think Boots is really talented. I was really impressed by a lot of things in that film. I really was. I really was. And I and I hope he makes more movies. You know what I mean? Like that is that is about the most flattering thing I can say if I overall didn't enjoy your movie, right? If I get done with your movie and I go, "Wow, you really missed the mark on this one." But I can still on my on my stream and my public platform go I really hope you make more movies. I see I see genius within your movie. I see flashes of genius. But but as an overall project like I just I just don't know anyone who would enjoy watching that movie. I I that's that's my take. I don't know. Um Are you forbidden from discussing Attack on the Show? No, not at all. Uh, I can discuss uh, Attack of the Show. Um, most don't uh, don't care because they don't know any kind of transformative change means violent confrontation with the capital and the ruling class. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it does. Um, but I don't even think that they're willing to to pay the to pay the comfort cost. Like you're talking about a violent revolution, that's one thing. I don't think people are even willing to give up internet 
or cell phone privileges. Like 90% of people. Like forget violence. Here's the thing. I think people are more willing to do violence than give up their television is the sad thing. Because at the, at the baseline, I'm going to keep it a buck. Violence at first for a lot of people is exciting, right? Getting out in the street, shattering windows, the revolution. That, that at least has excitement. But giving up your your 10 by 10 space and and your and your Uber Eats and your television and your internet, for people, that's a lot harder, in my opinion. The comf the comfort is the trap, right? Comfort is the real trap, in in my opinion. It is it is much harder to overcome. Than, than anything else. Um, but that's my take. I'm not perfect. Um, what's up with Batman? Well, we have a we have a sound clip. From the new Batman project, Batman Unburied. Would you guys like to listen to it? TikTok has us in a chokehold. Um, no, your brain chemistry has you in a chokehold, right? TikTok just exploits it. That's that's the biggest problem, right? Is you're fighting against your brain chemistry, right? Anything you do that's just gonna constantly dump dopamine in a Pavlovian loop. Or you're just like, ha 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 It creates like these sub-perceptual wants, right? The reason that you go fishing for your phone anytime you're bored is because you you don't want to look at your phone. Your brain is sub-perceptually seeking dopamine, right? Your, your brain is like looking for that dopamine hit, that instant realization. Of, of joy. Anyway, let's listen to this Batman clip. Speaking of dopamine, give it to me, Batman! Gothamites, I want to hear from you about this harvester. How are you feeling about this madman on the loose? Dr. Bruce Wayne performing autopsy. Five victims, all seemingly rare. Have you got a DM from my assistant Joe by chance? No. I don't think I have. No Joe. No Joe at all. The harvester, he takes something. Heart, pancreas, gallbladder. I think he considers the organs he takes as his reward. Thank you. Grouchy Hyper? Did good work, sir. But I was not finished with this body. Bruce! Bruce! In Gotham City. Hi, Maya! Listen up. This guy knows- Guys. The two most lovely and talented people on our platform are in my chat. What did I do to deserve such a wonderful following? Hi, girls. How are you doing? That's what he's doing. No prints, no trail, no pattern to the murders. The deeper you dig. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Edward Nigma, please step forward. The darker it gets. Barbara Gordon. It's wonderful to see you again. The Harvester. You need me to find him. You mind giving us a room here, officer? You're Thank you, Blue Falcon. I'm his father, Dr. Thomas Wayne. This is my wife, Martha. Bruce, obviously you can no longer be involved in this case. You can return to work pending the sucky valve. From executive producer David S. Goyer. You are very protective about what's inside your mind, aren't you? Do you dream? Sometimes my whole life feels like a dream. Let's talk about fear. Comes a groundbreaking original audio series. We're the same. We like the dead. We like the night. Starring Winston Duke as Bruce Wayne. The killings are ritualistic. It's all about the process for him. He's methodical, careful, obsessive. Featuring Hassan Minhaj as the Riddler and Gina Rodriguez as Barbara Gordon. I know a little something about compulsion. 
VC and Spotify present Batman Unburied. Yes. Alfred, you packed my work clothes. Of course I did. No more hiding. It's over. I'm coming for you. Batman Unburied, a Spotify original. Yes. Is out now. Follow and listen for free only on Spotify. Listen, I don't know if I'm supposed to mention this, by the way. Or if it's supposed to be a talking point. But how cool is it that we get a black Batman in this project? Winston Duke is Bruce Wayne, dude. What? I'm all in. Heck yeah, baby. Um, inclusion without commentary. Let's go. Uh, you might remember him from such projects as Black Panther. Um, but uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's a little voice trailer. Obviously, I mean, guys, it's a Spotify project. It, it, it's going to be the, the Cadillac of audio experiences, right? I still say the Cadillac of. Cadillacs aren't even that great a car anymore. Gosh, I'm so American. <laughs> I'm so American. Oh, it's, a, it's the Cadillac of audio experiences. Um, it's the Lamborghini of audio experiences, okay? Um, definitely go check it out. I'm excited about it. It's going to be tremendous. That's a fine automobile. Uh, would you ever consider doing a movie tier list for all the juicer movies that Zoomers like me should watch? Um, I did a top of the head, uh, top hundred once time. Blah, 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 blah. I did a top of my head, top one hundred once upon a time, where I just listed a hundred movies that I think everybody should see, basically, or, or that are worth seeing. I have been working on a top 100 list that I have unreleased. And the reason being, it feels like every week I hear a movie's title and I'm like, how the heck did that not make it on the top 100 list? And so I want it to be perfect. I want my top 100 list to be inspired. Because when I released my, you know, off the top of my head, top 100 list, people were angry. <laughs> people were like, what about this movie? Hey, you didn't, hey, you blockhead, what about this movie? And I was upset because they were right. When I released my actual top 100, I wanted to, to drop on your head like bang. And I want it to be like, okay, yes. And I want when people to argue, I want to be like, no, this one's perfect. By the way, the, uh, Zoomer in chat who is looking for um, my movie recommendations. What? What? Was that just what I thought it was? Was that $1,500? What? What the heck? That is so much money. That's the biggest donation I've ever gotten. What the heck? That's hot cash on the barrel. Donator, did you just make a horrible mistake did you just did you just make a horrible mistake if you did please talk to my mods i will give that money back if you meant to give 15 dollars and just gave a thousand five hundred please let me know because that is a ton of money that is an absolutely baffling amount of money <laughs> that's hot pipe and cash on the barrel listen in fact despite the fact that this is a a branded stream boys and girls uh we have a we have a tradition here we have a 
a freaking tradition. And we even have a Will Neff song now. I I'll be right back. Your shit camp chef of honor. The comeback kid. The lord of the late night. Please welcome your host, Will Neff! a.m. on a Friday night. Will stepped away, comes flying through the chat. Ain't gotta worry, cause he's coming back. And we're feeding. Thank God he's back and we're locking in. Survivors on Tommy Morgan for the win. Play the midnight and some multiple games. And we're guys. Good. I have been streaming for three years. And that is the most money I have ever been donated. That is a ludicrous amount. And I pray to God there's not someone somewhere on the planet who's going, I can't believe I just gave $1,500. Because if you did, please, please, please let my mod know. And if that is the case, I will give this money back because it is a lot of money. But in the meantime... Yes, I left the undershirt on, baby! So that my sponsor doesn't get mad that I just blasted my shirt off. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> That's... Wow. Well, shoot. Uh... I'm probably going to take my mama out for dinner. Uh, you definitely, definitely took care of that. I, I appreciate that. I really hope you... I just... Dude, I, that's the way my brain works, is all I can think about is that there's somewhere, somewhere in the world right now, a guy going, Oh, no! Oh, God! I thought there was a decimal point! Oh, gee, Oh, Jesus! Where did the decimal point go? Oh, no! Thank you so much. Either way. Hey, even if it was just meant to be 15, 15 bucks, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. James Marco, Saint Marco. <laughs> I will never financially recover from this. Your shit camp chef of honor. The comeback kid. The Lord... Whew. My pulse. My pulse is bopping. Hey, Will, can I? Can we get a hey now? Will. Hey now. Hey now. No. Um, does that mean that you're going to do James Marco, Sonny Marco, or a Survivor Marathon? Uh, I believe we will be watching Survivor again soon. Um... I want to do a full day of Survivor, but as part of Amazon Prime, because it is on Amazon Prime. So we're going to do one season like that. After we do that season, the plan is, I think I'm going to transition into some other React content because uh, I was given Us Us Free um, from my DMCA strikes. Uh, they were uh, proven to be fraudulent. So I am, I'm back. Uh, it took a while, but I am back. I told you it would take a while, but I am back. Uh, I think we're going to try and watch Taskmaster. And yes, I think tomorrow uh, I'm going to be doing a little RP as well for you guys. Um, who asked, brother? Who blank and asked? Um, the, 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 ch the chat asked? The, the chat did? 
My dude literally has a... <laughs> uh, see, this right here is a, a record of what everybody has said. And um, they, 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 asked, they asked me. Because he's coming back and we're feeling good. Thank God he's back and we're lucky. Uh, do you guys want me to do some Stanley Parable? How much... How much new content is in Stanley Parable? Um, truly. It's a lot. Hmm. <laughs> 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 what is Trek to Yomi rated? Because I, I don't think I can play a mature game on stream today, but I'd like to play Trek to Yomi. Noita? Oh my gosh. Will you please leave the VOD up? I miss meeting Mom and F for sure. Um, once you get to the new content, it's almost a new game. Hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> I missed the link for your 100 movies. Can someone link that? <laughs> Yomi is M rated. Dang it! The midnight and some multiple games. And would be feeling good. Okay. <laughs> um. Gosh, this song is good. Um, son of a darn it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We could play. Um, what could we play? <laughs> we could play Peglin. And try and beat it. Um, you guys really want me to play Stanley Parable? <sighs> Peglin is low-key hard. Peglin is dope. League with Cutie? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Some depression? Oh, Kid Doe, thank you so much. Hasanabi's friend. <laughs> Reckless, thank you. Your shit camp chef of honor. Bang, bang. Come back, kid. The Lord of the Lakers. We could play Vampire Survivors, too. The Ox, thank you for the prime. Please welcome your host. Dude, there's so much happening on my screen at once. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how many things are happening. Well, Nick made this. Let's jam this one more time. We're feeling good. Thank God he's back. Okay, listen, chat. I really like roguelikes. Okay, so I could play a new roguelike. Merch drop Monday. Is this real? This is real. Um, it's the Going Rogue Festival too. I like rogue lights where you like gear up. You know what I mean? Where you get that, where you get that gear. Um, <laughs> have I ever played enter the gungeon? I love enter the gungeon. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. 
Survivors on Tommy Morgan for the win. Play the midnight and some old What's up, everybody? Blammo! Oh, this is that new Will Neff song. You guys like that new Will Neff song? Play that same song. All right, play it, run it back. You are perpetually stuck in the 80s. Thank you for the compliment. Um, okay, so guys who are just joining us, hello, Hasanabi's community. Um, today, I am blessed uh, because the great people over at Spotify have sponsored the stream. Um, I always like to take a sponsored stream um, in close proximity to when I have new merch coming out. So uh, as some of you might already know, I have new merch coming out next week. Uh, it's the mock turtleneck that I've been working on for over a year with satire. And my policy is always that I like to do a sponsored stream in cl 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 close proximity to my merch drop so that I can do my best to buy a bunch of free pieces of merch for those in the community that might not be able to afford them or uh, just people who have been having a crappy day, week, month, year. Um, and so half of what I make today will be, uh, recycled into free merch for you. Um, so, uh, if you do want to stick around and support, that'd be tremendous. Uh, if not, I know it's an ad, geez. Um, but if you did want to support today, uh, Spotify is sponsoring the stream and it is one of the coolest sponsorships I've ever had. Uh, for those of you who know me well, you guys know that I'm a giant, giant comic book fan. Uh, in fact, I went to Golden Apple Comics in LA today and I bought uh, $200 worth of um, graphic novels just for uh, Golden Apple to give away to people. So if you are in LA and swing by uh, uh, Golden Apple and you see a big box of coupons and graphic novels for free, uh, I left them there for you guys. So go check them out uh, because it is uh, free comic day. Um, so, uh, I am a giant fan of comic books, always have been, um, if I didn't have Knights of the Round, the comic book store that I grew up going to, uh, I don't know where I would have run. Uh, it was a safe haven for me and watching so many comic book stores close their doors forever during COVID, um, hurt me in a way that I cannot express. Because I, I, I'm telling you sincerely, uh, I, I do not know what I would have done if I could not have gone and played um, Metal Slug and Samurai Showdown and Marvel Hero and DC Hero Clicks when I was just a young lad at Knights of the Round. Um, so I, I paid that forward a little bit today. And you certainly, if you have a comic book store in your area, I know it's so easy to buy comic books on the internet via Amazon. But please, please, please go support um, your local comic book stores. It's more than just a store. It's, it's a whole culture of people uh, who, are, who are amazing and socially awkward. And, um, and uh, if you don't make the effort to go support those places, they will disappear from the face of the earth like, uh, like, um, <laughs> like uh, uh, blockbusters. So that's the first thing. But as a comic book fan, I was really excited to work with Spotify and DC uh, for their most recent project, uh, Batman Unburied. Uh, it is an audio experience. Uh, I listened to a lot of it while I was working out today. Uh, there are two episodes out thus far, and uh, it is tremendous. Uh, this is the first time we've had a black Bruce Wayne 
Um, yes, that's right. Bruce Wayne is is voiced by a black man, uh, which is really really cool. Um, uh, so uh, it, it is a very interesting project. It's unlike any Batman I've heard. As Batman, uh, Bruce Wayne uh, is kind of in almost an, an amnesic state about who he is. Um, and doesn't really know who he is. And uh, the the villain is uh, called the Harvester, and he's he's very much a serial killer uh, in his in his pursuit. So it is a very cool thing to do. I don't know if any of you consume podcasts or audiobooks, but I certainly do. And so I am um, I am very very uh, excited to promote a product that I believe in quite a bit and something I've been enjoying quite a bit, uh, which is Batman on Buried. So if you have Spotify, please go ahead and check it out. Uh, you can spam exclamation point, I believe Spotify or a number of other things in the chat. Uh, exclamation point Spotify, exclamation point Spotify Batman, uh, and you'll get a link. Uh, or you can go ahead and click the panel uh, that exists uh, right to the bottom of my screen right now. And, uh, you know, go ahead and give those a click because the good people over at Spotify and DC, they track that stuff and they see if uh, my community was very proactive about going and checking out the content. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that they might uh, choose to use their ad dollars here again, which uh, would be uh, fantastic. So, hey, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, I think I'm going to play a new roguelike today. I've been playing a lot of roguelikes. So I don't know how much more I am going to do today, but I've been I've been playing Peglin and I've been playing. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, oh, yeah. You guys spammed it so much. You queued the uh, little chaser there, which is really fun. Um, oh, OK. All the. Uh, all the roguelikes that they're recommending right now are ones that I'm deep in. Vampire, Sur Vampire Survivors, Gunfire Reborn, Slay the Spire, and Risk of Rain are all games that I have been out there cracking on. Um, this looks exactly like your stuff. Great reviews. Seraph's Last Stand. You know what? I saw um, the more popular Will Neff playing this today, uh, Soda Poppin'. And uh, it is 89 cents. So let's give this a dance. Let's give this a spin. Uh, it's called Seraph's Last Stand. Okay. Let's get that. Hey, can we get that Will Neff song again? All right, same song. Here we go. The Lord of the Lake. Please welcome your host. How's your Saturday going, guys? No! Johnny B. Johnny B. Good. It's 2 a.m. on a Friday night. Will stepped away, comes flying through the chat. Ain't gotta worry, cause he's coming back. And we're feeding. Feeling good. Thank God he's back and we're locking in. Survivors on Tommy Morgan for the win. Play the midnight and some old school games. And we're feeling good. This is such a jam. That's a lot of juice. Look at the homie Frogan. She made the news. <laughs> She's doing pot friend. <laughs> Chills. Do this IRL. Do this IRL! <laughs> and remember, stay dangerous. I didn't miss this sub streak this time, Pockers. Oh, thank you. You can hold my heart and fight. 
Do this IRL! Chills! Chills! Dude, I, uh... <laughs> I actually went to karaoke with Frogan, uh, like, two nights ago, and we got after it. I blew my voice out doing share. We were both laughing so hard. We went with Carter, and I don't know why, but Carter just kept doing Eminem songs, but not like the fun Eminem songs, like the early days, really borderline abusive, scary, slow, long Eminem songs. And yo, he did Stan. Stan is like 15 minutes long. <laughs> He did stand and I'm sorry, mama. <laughs> and we were like, okay, yeah, we're, it was his birthday. So we were like, yeah, we're grooving, dude. <laughs> and he did this for every one of them. He's like, <laughs> hey, Slam, I think we should be together. Just 15 minutes of Unbroke and Frogan and I were like, <laughs> trying, yeah, uh-huh, nice. <laughs> oh, oh, God, man. So funny. Frogan did, <laughs> Frogan. Rogan did Papa Roach, dude. <laughs> Cut my life into pieces. The worst karaoke songs. The worst. This is my last resort. Suffocation. <laughs> I was crying laughing. But I did share. And I blew my vocal cords out the back of my skull. I really did. Do you believe in life after love? I could feel some... Disgraceful King, thank you so much. All right, the game is done downloading. Seraph's Last Stand. Whoop. Uh, one second. One second. I've got to copy these things, then go to my gaming tab and paste them. Bleep. There it is. Um, oh, God. I've covered my camera. Um, all right. I'm, we're going to try Seraph's Last Stand for a little bit. I love roguelikes, and I'm excited about this one. Oh. A wizard. Dude, there's nothing quite like a dollar game. Am I right, chat? Am I right? There's something magical about a game that costs a dollar. I don't know about you guys, but it takes me back to like my arcade day days where I'm like, heck yeah. It's just me and this game that cost a dollar. No, no frills, no madness, just a man in his quarters. Oh, I can change my look. Oh, it's pay to play. Oh, this is crazy. I'm just kidding. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. Very simple so far. I'm digging it. Ow, I've been hit. You're a wizard, Harry. Okay. Call six thunderbolts. Weaker projectiles. I'm going to go with the fragmentation. Oh, this is everything I love. This reminds me of... Remember Phoenix that you would play on the calculator? On your TI-89? Oh, look at that. Bang. I remember... Pip Up Tut, thank you so much. I remember playing Phoenix. Friction. For every meter you run... Meter? All right, I'm just going to run it. I'm going to run it down. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I remember playing Phoenix, and that game was so fun. There's something just so pure about, like, 
a scaling bullet hell game, right? Because you know, like right now it's calm. I'm sure that in 10 minutes, ooh, orb? Movement speed. I am the wind. Okay, it's already getting a little, it's already getting a little hairy. Oh yeah. There it is. Oh, more attack speed we like. The best defense is a good offense, chat. Ow! Oh! I should have taken more defense! Ooh, oh, lifesteal? Lifesteal is, is big. All right, so the, sometimes the best defense is, is defense. <laughs> sometimes the best defense is, in fact, defense. All right, you got to kind of lead these a little bit. Rage. Stability? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I toggled it to auto. I don't know how I did that, but I like it. No more clicking. Okay. Alright. My health steal is not doing what I... Oh god. Jump it! Cheese it, it's the cops. Projectile damage plus two. Chance to drop. I don't know what that is. Let's just do catalyst. I gotta add more damage. Oh god. Oh god. We're in deep chat. Ugh. Okay, the explosion is very good. All right, we forge ahead. More jump height? I don't know if I need it. Let's put the... Sometimes the best defense is good defense. <sighs> I need some purples. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry, chat. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? The jump height! Ugh. Got him. Okay. One item choice. Whoa. Fragmentation is the business. I'm in the business of fragmentation. Yes, look at that. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? All right, let's up that health a little bit. Yes, look at that. Yes. Yes. What are these things? Okay. All right, we need some jump height. I've getting I've been getting backed into corners. What is... Are those knives on there? Ooh, got them. <laughs> More projectile damage. What is that? It was an, or it was an orb. Got oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn this place into the 4th of July, baby. Ugh. Oh, more damage. More damage! Oh. Enemies get... Okay. Your body deals 40... D yes! My body is a weapon. Oh, look at that. 
are those guys? I know I'm gonna hit the difficulty wall soon. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Oof. Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Uh. I can't wait till this is just particle hell. More attack speed. Mind bullets. Yes, a double jump. <laughs> All right, getting a little hairy. Yes. Bigger chance to roll on common items. Love that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at the range. Look at the range. Leave me alone. Oh, yes. Tome? More lightning. Oh, yeah. Now that's the lightning I was looking for. Thunderstruck! Have a year of watching and looking forward to the next six. Oh, my gosh. I hope. I hope I pray. More attack speed. Okay, they are doing a lot of damage when they hit me. I have to be aware. Hope you're having an amazing day. I'm having a great day. Okay. Uh, oof. Reroll cards. I think I gotta have more. I gotta have more life steal. Ooh, ow. I gotta have more defense. Projectile? Whoa. Bigger projectiles. Ow! Oh my gosh! Chat, they're hurting me. Okay. More attack speed. I want to be attacking like Master Yi. Oh my, I need defense. I need defense so badly. Someone's a wisp. We're wisping. Oh God, ow! Wisp, I need you doing, I need you doing infinitely more. And I need it right now. It makes you smaller. More HP. We gotta build some defense or else we're not long for this world. Ow! Ow! I see Jesus! I see demons! Gotta have more health here. Ow! Not I see Jesus, I see Jesus. I really like the image of I see Jesus though. That might be my new rap name. 
here. This thing is tanky. Sir, I'm gonna need you to get away from me. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in such bad trouble. Oh gosh. Oh darn it. Why do these things have so much health? Ow! Oh, th I'm not long for this world, chat. I see demons. Oh, gosh. I gotta have... What's that noise? Oh, they're so mad at me. Please. Ow. There it is. Okay. I leached my way to success. More critical hit chance, please. Oh my. Ah! Ah! The bullets, they do nothing. The bullets, they do nothing! Okay, I am just throwing hot dogs at these creatures now. <sighs> Regrowth? Big time. I am just throwing hot dogs at these invaders. Oh god, I gotta have more damage. Please give me more- Blech. Chad, I'm not long for this world. Uh. I'll make myself smaller, I guess. So I'm less of a bullet sponge. Dude, please give me damage. Please. Not like this! Oh. Oh, God. Uh, ow. No! All right, one more run. One more run. I believe. Chat, I believe. I think we gotta take all damage. Hmm. Wisps are good. Wisps are good. Now I know what is strong and what is not, and I do not think I had enough wisps. Okay, sir. Bigger chance to roll on common items? Love that. Game is zoomed in? Oh, snarglepuss. Why did... What the... What the... 
Snargle? How did that happen? Weird. Alright. I didn't change anything. <sighs> okay. Defense was big. And early, I did not get it. It's a very different build than last time. Oh, they're also blocking my laser beams with their laser beams. Yeah, we're going to take some lifesteal here. Obviously. Also, the thing that makes them explode is really good. Do you believe in love, Will? Do you believe in life after love? Tony was there for the karaoke. Tony had to listen to Carter do all of his <laughs> Eminem songs. I'm, I'm just go early. I'm going on like stacking the deck. I want to be able to have the stuff I need later on. Okay, they're blocking my projectiles. My wisp is just missing. My life steal is not life stealing. Maybe because I don't do enough damage. Now this is what I was looking for. Big time. There we go. There we go. Now this is pod racing. Please God. Okay. I don't think we have the best build right now, but we start, we built with a good foundation, right? It's a solid foundation. This one's bad. <sighs> Shoot. Stability. Okay. So this way it can jam through their projectiles. We like that. We haven't taken any damage yet, though, which is not great because I do no damage. Now, this is Variety Gaming. Okay. Now, that's what we like. An additional four projectile damage, we like it. Gotta have more catalyst. We need them blown up big. There it is. We need these things exploding so ridiculously when they die that it's just a it's just a claymore. There we go. Okay, we also need some more health steel, or else we are done for. How did that not hit anything? All right, we're going wisps. I'm just hoping that these wisps double my damage here. Oh. I need more health steel. Ooh. TVJC, thank you so much. Souls? Attack speed. Why am I not healing at all?
please my wisps. Okay, we healed a little. Oh, God. Max HP plus 10. Oh, that was nice. <sighs> Invulnerability after taking damage. The cloak will help. The cloak will help. Heal me! Why am I not healing at all? Chat, this is looking like the end of the road. <laughs> Please! Alright, last run. This is the one. We just weren't getting what we needed that round. Not a roguelike, but have you played Alan Wake? Uh, no. Alright, here we go. Okay. I'm not messing around. We're going full lifesteal right from the very beginning. Sustain is a factor. Attack speed. Okay. The aiming on this is so suspect. Thanks for the hype train, by the way, guys. Okay. Whew. Critical strike chance. Crits and attack speed, baby. This is the way. This is the way. Eyes, they're failing. I tell them no. More critical strike chance. Thank you, I event. They're literally blocking my magic with their magic. Okay, you gotta aim, like, you gotta lead your targets. Oh, yes! Wait. Oh, wait, what? I tried to stick it out, but they do too much damage. I think that's a late game movement there. More attack speed. I can just become a wall of bullets. Thank you for that hype train, guys. Okay, sometimes the uh, 
that like hell steel heals and sometimes it doesn't. Like, look at that. I'm going crazy on the damage and I'm not healing. More lifesteal, please. Oh, that was close. Got to health steal my way back. Okay. Now I'm stealing like one health per hit. That's good. That's great. All right. I got to take the health. I don't want to take the health there, but I got to take the health. My build isn't great, but we can get back in this. Oh, yes. All right. Bleed. I'm going to try bleed. I think that's going to be good. That is good. Okay. Fragmentation. Very good. Yes. We just need to be pumping damage. Okay. I feel much more confident in our ability chat. Our build there for a second, not great. Our build now, very good. More crit chance. There it is. Now we're doing damage, baby. Okay, my bullets aren't getting to them. Oh. Yes. Dude, wound is key. Wound is clutch. Now if I can just get a little bit more base damage. We got to take this because my crit chance is actually really high. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, bleed him out. Bleed him out, baby. Okay, wound is OP. Rerolling. I'm fucked. How is that? Okay, we gotta take stability. Stability is really good because it carves through their projectiles. Oh god. Their attack speed is getting crazy, but the bleed is going nutso. My bleed is going wacko. I wish they had homing. Friction? Uh, oh. Okay. Let's hope my that just scales with uh, the explosions and stuff.
I'm just hoping that all scales off each other. There goes that bleed. Okay. We need more of this because of my bleed. So the more that they explode and apply those bleeds, the better. Okay, chat. We're back in this one. We gotta take some defense soon and some more health. Oh, big time. That's the damage I need. And there's all that bleed. Bleed go crazy. Okay, we're guys, we're locked in now. We got to get my base damage up, though. My base damage is still ass. More critical. There it is. Now we're critting. Now we're critting. Now we're critting. We're hitting that tipping point now. Move into position. Begin the shellification process. Yeah, bleed him out. More critical strike. Go crazy. If I can't do damage, I'll just crit my way in. Because the bleeds can crit. Look at all that bleed. Look at all that bleed. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We gotta go full. We need more damage. The Thunderbolts have to be the way. Jeez. No! Last run. Oh. This is the one. This is the one, chat. I'm gonna set a high score. This sucks. This early is good. That thunder early is gonna pay dividends. Let's just turn it into a fucking hellscape. Or an effing... A frickin' darn it, darn, darn old hellscape. Okay, I got lots of lightning. Lots of lightning.com. Gotta have this. 
Everything scales off that. The bleed scales off that. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. There's the wound. Okay. We're scaling, Daddy. Smaller. I am the small wizard. Okay, this feels strong early. Look at that lightning go crazy. Oof. Damage plus four. Lightning. I'll take the health. That's a lot of health. We got to scale accordingly because we got a lot of damage right now. We got to the, the key to this game is balance. In all things, Padawan. Oh, 24 attack speed. That's real good. Oh, look at that damage. Nine percent life steal, too valuable. Gotta, ha gotta have life steal at some point. The sustain. All right, we're building a, we're building a very balanced house here. We're building a very balanced house here. building a very balanced house. <sighs> Who needs defense when you have an abundance of health? Oh, lightning go crazy. All right, now I need a wisp. Regrowth? Yes. Regenerate me. Okay, this is a very balanced house. Okay, I am healing like a fiend. Yep. I'm going to take the barrier just because we got to build a balanced house here. Bigger projectiles. Gosh, I really wish I could have a wisp. The explosion bleed is so good. Whoa, I took a lot of damage. Let's take the cloak because we just, we got to build a balanced house and I think we have enough damage. Yeah, we need uh we need some sustain on our projectiles to deal with them. Take more max health. Tankiness. Yeah. 
Yo. <laughs> Give me that. Okay, we are shelling now. Okay, these do a lot of damage. Gah. Friction, okay. I just want to diversify our bonds now. Okay, the shield and cloak combo, very strong. More attack speed. Dude, I am shelling now. Okay. All right. We, ha we don't have any critical strike chance yet, so we'll take this. Hope for criticals. All right, I'm shooting rope now. These all suck. I'll take the defense. Ew, I'll take the defense. That that one shot protection. Short Kings. Okay, this is getting real messy. It's a good thing I'm hobbit sized. Five percent more effective? That sounds really good. We'll just take it. Okay, that hurt. That one hurt. Be prepared for this. Take more luck. All right, we've had two rounds where we haven't gotten stronger, and that's scary. But we just have to hope that these dividends will pay out. Oh, please leave me the frick alone. My lightning isn't doing as much as I would hope. Cards suck. Reroll. Okay, so that's a white. Oh, yes. Okay. So that's 35% more effective. And let me tell you, attack speed is the savior right now. Ow! I can't believe I haven't pulled a wisp yet. A wisp would help me so much right now. Please. Dude, I took luck. Give me a good drop here. Shoot.
Oh god. Oh my- Oh my god! I haven't been getting any good cards recently, which is devastating. Please! I'm getting absolutely hammered by bad cards, chat. The RNG. Oh. How is this thing still alive? If I don't get a good card this next round, oh, wound. Shoot! I hope the wound is even better. I pray this wound is wounding like crazy. Please leave me alone. Yes. The wound is wounding. Can I just get a base damage up? That'd be so swell. <sighs> All right, crit chance. Chat, am I just getting raked on my cards? I feel like I'm just getting raked on my cards. You're getting rolled? I thought so, man. This sucks. Get out of here, you spike thing. I mean, stack stuff? I am aware. I'm trying. Well, this is 35% more effective, so I mean, I hope the crits just go crazy. Oh. All right, the, what is, dude? I have, no, I do not have the damage. It's just sponging. Give me one wisp. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. What is that? What just happened? Is that because my attack speed was so mighty? It's because you're a streamer? What? More critical damage. I'm stuck. Okay, my crits are going crazy. Believe in the bleed. Okay. Okay. Wisp! Finally! So good! Double my damage!
please don't go down like this. Oh, I need stability. Stability is actually so important right now. Because I, I can't make my way through the weapons. I use my shield. Lighten them up. Light them up. Okay, I'm critting almost every shot now. Please give me my shield. Oh, God! Heal out, heal out. Heal out on the way. Put the damage up. Put the damage up. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. More lifesteal. Oh my god. Okay, the lifesteal is tremendous. We're doing it. We're doing it. I think I gotta take just, I gotta pad my health now so I don't get blown up. Oh, I'm so glad I padded my health. What are these monsters? So glad I padded my health. I gotta pad my health even more. More damage would really be cool, but... I also wish I had more projectiles. Wow. I got- I gotta take that. That's so much health. I am the hunter! I'm so glad I took health. Choose life. More cloaking. All right, I don't do much damage, but man, I'm tanky. Yes. More. So now after I take damage, I'm invulnerable for a long period of time. Oh, that's so big. But I gotta have more damage.
I've made it so that I can survive these changeovers, but now I gotta have damage or else I'm in trouble. Yep. <sighs> Gotta have more projectiles. The reason I took that is because I have double wound. So look at how much wound damage is going because of the extra projectiles. I know that crit damage is, is very appealing, but my wound damage is literally carrying me on the back line right now. So the more projectiles I can get in the air, the more wound I get. Fuck. All right, I guess I'll take a little movement speed. Oh my god. I took so much damage. Please, you bitch! I have my shield up! Fuck you! We're not done yet. Oh my god, those do so much damage. You can't even block them. I just have to avoid those. Those do so much damage. We got, we just need more projectiles. We gotta avoid the big reds. I'm trapped? Fuck out of here, dude. Shoot. Shoot. Um. Shooty shoots. You guys want me to run one more? Fudge. Thank you for the five. That's a lot of juice. All right, I'm going to use the restroom. I'm going to grab a water and we're going to do one more. Gosh darn it. All right, listen, here's what we're going to do. 
I think this time we have to prioritize damage, right? I was very tanky that time and I had good survivability. I think the problem was I didn't have enough base damage. I think every time you see base damage, you have to take back base damage. Okay, great one on the first one, appraisal, more items. That's a great one to take first because these early rounds aren't hard. So gear yourself up. This is what I'm talking about. Um, base damage. I think base damage is the key because crit scales off base damage. I think it's I think it's uh, health steel scales off base damage. I think it's just the way. Okay, we're gonna take the attack speed. We're just gonna make my base attack really, really strong. I think any time I see attack damage, no matter what else is there, I take it. Okay, life steal. Very good. A little sustain. A little sustainability baked in with the damage. I like where we're at right now. Okay. Double appraisal, early game advantage. We just have a bunch of items to choose from now. I'm making an educated decision. Look at all these items. Plus four damage. This is the juice. This is the juice that you're looking for. Bang. Okay, I'm almost doing as much damage with my shot as I was at the end of the other game. All right, bigger chance to roll uncommon items. I think that's important. We're investing in our future. More damage. Prioritize the damage. Yes. Yes. Look at me carve them up. Okay. My base damage is good. But it can be better. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Triple appraisal. We're going to have so many items to choose from. We got to take fragmentation. Fragmentation is important at this point because we can scale everything off of it. Yep, there it is. There it is. Go on with your bad self. More damage. I am no longer jesting. I play not.
At what level does the base damage upgrade? Because I feel like I have so much base damage. We need stability. We need our projectiles carving through. Okay. Time to take attack speed. Go for Tome. I don't like Tome with how many choices I have. And, uh... Oh. Wait, I get a free reroll if I take enough of these, right? There it is! Yes! Great, okay. I've invested in our future. The future is invested in. Please ignore this message. Will do, champion. I've invested in our future. Stonks are high. Stonks. Okay. The health steal is not enough, even though my base damage is insane. Okay, I have good damage. Now we have to f focus on surviving. Shoot. Stonks. The higher base damage is so good. Stonks! The build is working. We don't have any sustainer defense though. Right now we have all future tech. Stonks? The damage. Okay, if I take more stability, will it stop those easier? Will it stop the other projectiles better? I think it will. Oh, stonks! Okay, I need the life steal. The life steal gives us life. Become the leech. Oh, God. I'm glad I took that, or else I would be in deep trouble. I'm just gonna heal out here. I'm gonna take more of this, because I just think I can stop projectiles. Yes, I can. Yes, I can! Si se puede. More damage. All right, my base damage is as much as my crit last time, but I have no sustainability. We need to work on that immediately.
I can't believe base damage hasn't upgraded yet. That's really shitty. Critical strike chance. Big. Some bad rolls. Um, I think I've just built future tech, which I, you know, I invested heavily in railroad bonds, basically. And I think it'll eventually pay off. Yes. I think the lightning was actually really helpful in terms of just putting out damage. I wonder if my base damage increases lightning damage. Okay, we got it. We just have to have more health now. Defense and health now at this point, because I think I do a lot of damage. I think I have a lot of good things going on. Defense, great. Oof. Steel. I have a lot of health steel. If I could get a wound, that would be really good. future tech there. Dude, the ground troops have so much health, it's dumb. You guys are highlighting like crazy. All right, I've got to get stronger. The lightning is doing nothing. Please give me some good cards. I invested, yes. Oh, this is so, oh, bleed. Gee whiz. It just stepped up a notch. Dude, I do not understand how the ground troops just take so much damage. Look at that. All right, more rare items, please. Hopefully this just blasts through their projectiles. Mm. 
Nope. Look at this. Ground troops. more damage I just gotta hope I get an upgrade or something soon trouble How many fucking damages do I need to get till it upgrades? How many gosh darn damages? Thunder. Well, I heal crazy fast. damage 50 dude 15 upgrades to damage and it still hasn't evolved it upgrades at 20 but i think it's a joke upgrade that doesn't do anything why would they put that in the game no one more gosh darn it I wasn't stacking the right stuff. Okay. Friction. Yes. Projectile damage, yes. Regrowth, sustain. In your bullet hell, you're in mine. More defense. That'll come in great later. So we gotta do damage, damage, defense. I think that's the way. Damage, damage, maybe utility every once in a while. Wisp. Become the wizard, Harry. 
Now we need lifesteal. Smaller. Yes. I'm just gonna stack attack speed till we have a laser beam. I definitely need more damage though. 100%. 100p. More friction. I just want I just I want them to be in my bullet hell, not the other way around, you know what I mean? Oh, that's what I needed. 9% health steal. Zoink. Two projectile damage, please. for attack speed, please. Oh, yeah. We're cranking bullets now, baby. We need more defense now. We got a lot of offense. Defense. Asking you shall receive. All right, we, now we need like a utility, like uh, like an explosion or something, like a crit. This is actually really good utility. Good defense too, for later. Good roll here. Great roll. Heck yeah. <laughs> Big health steal. That's the ticket. All right, I'm health stealing like a madman. Now I just need some more health because I get melted. defense I'm liking the setup here chat I could use more projectiles but and you shall receive. We're beaming. Welcome to my beam. More friction. They're in my bullet hell now, chat. More defense. 
I need health so badly, though. Oh. Oh, no. All right, we're just going to... All right, we are beaming. I accidentally re-rolled. We live with the decision. Okay, the fr we are friction burning. More attack speed. Welcome to your nightmare. Okay. Yes. More attack speed. He did not care anymore. All right, we got the damage to go. More attack speed. You're in my bullet hell now, boy. More defense. If we can't get health, we'll just D it out. We'll give him the heavy D. Okay, my damage output is ludicrous. Go, go, wisps. Owie. I'm the eyeball collector. More damage. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I need more health. Badly. More friction. Okay, the, the amount of projectiles I am dealing. I don't think we have any. So we don't have any stability. This will help a lot. Yep. Spoiler, it helped a lot. Okay, I gotta start taking health. I hate it, but we have so much damage. We also need just more base damage. we're pumping, but three wisps? Why not? Dude, look at how much damage they take. That's ludicrous. All right, with how many projectiles we... Okay. More health. That's great. We needed that. Whew. The wisps. The wisps are pumping. Huge. That is huge. Our damage output just juicified. My juicification process. All 
All right, time to give ourselves a little Cretorius Maximus. So we attack so fast, and you know the scaling attack speed. Crit is now the juice. Crit. Oh my god. No! Please! Still alive. Alright. These red ones, they hurt. Gotta have more life steal. We just gotta be able to steal life like it's going out of style. Dude, these ground units take so much punishment. Oh my god. If I don't get more defense or more health, I'm just gonna lose based on that. Which is really crappy. Fudge. I gotta reroll. I need health. Please. avoid the reds. There it is. <sighs> Just avoid the reds. would be so cool, man. Oh my god, fuck off. Ten health, hooray. Okay, I steal health like a monster, I just need more of it. I'm a friggin' vampire. I just have to pump out enough damage to keep myself alive.
I committed to the health steal memes. That's a lot of damage for my build. Oh yeah. Hi mama. I'm almost done. Say hi to everybody. Everybody, this is my mama. I'll be done in about 10 minutes, so I'll get us dinner, okay? Sound good? Okay, this is good for my sustainability. It just makes it so I eat less projectiles. With the hell steel, that's really good. I'm being blocked? What's my record? 45? For the love of God, I need more damage. Projectiles. Oh my gosh. This is madness. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Oh. All right. Darn. I really wasn't pulling what I needed there after the uh, intro. Feels real bad, man. Um, what a stream. Hey, Will, I did a dr another drawing. Oh, tremendous. Let's check it out. Wow. 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 Hoss on the internet. Holy smokes. That's huge. What? Thank you. I appreciate you, Tyler M. I appreciate you. Hoss, that is some awesome art. Um... Guys, thanks so much for everything. I appreciate you. Uh, today's stream, one more time, was brought to you by Batman Unburied. You should definitely go check it out. It's a really fun audio experience. I listened to it at the gym. I had a bunch of fun. Guys, I cannot wait to turn that, um, uh, you know, um, Sponsor money into clothing for you guys. Merch comes out soon. I had a tremendous time streaming. I'm going to go hang out with my mama. Um, but I've had a lot of fun. Um, please go click the link below the stream if you're still here. Uh, the panel. Hit that exclamation point Spotify before you go. Because they track those metrics and they go, Hey, that Will Neff, his community was really into what they were doing. So let's just get some spamming of exclamation point Spotify. Go crazy. Make sure the VOD is up. I am going to make sure the VOD is up. Um, thank you so much for everything, guys. I appreciate you more than you know. Um,
Um, I had a lot of fun. There it is, exclamation point Spotify. Yes, yes, click the, the panel below. Thank you for everything you do. I can't wait to show you the merch uh, very shortly. Um, oh, and tomorrow, if you didn't go today, go to your local comic book store, support free comic day, support your local comic book store. It means a lot. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to send you on a raid. A raid, a raid, a raid. A raid, a raid, a raid, a raid, a raid, a raid, a raid. Oh, there it is. There's the takeover. Um, I'm going to send you to Jay Dilla, one of my childhood friends. One of the guys who I think was in that comic book store with me growing up. All right, go give the same love and respect to Jay Dilla that you give to me. Make sure you check out the new Batman on Buried on, only on Spotify, a brand new audio experience. Thank you for everything you do for me. You've changed my life. I'm going to go spend some time with my mama and my daddy. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Good night, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.